Tis the year's midnight, and it is the day's. Lucy's, who scarce seven hours herself unmasks. The sun is spent, and now his flasks send forth light squibs, no constant rays. The world's whole sap is sunk. The general balm the hydroptic earth hath drunk, whither, as to the bed's feet, life is shrunk, dead and interred. Yet all these seem to laugh compared with me, who am their epitaph. Study me, then, you who shall lovers be at the next world, that is, at the next spring. For I am every dead thing in whom love wrought new alchemy. For his art did express the quintessence even from nothingness dull privations and lean emptiness, he ruined me, and I am rebegot of absence, darkness, death, things which are not. All others, from all things, draw all that's good, life, soul, form, spirit, whence they being have, I, by love's limbeck, am the grave of all that's nothing. Of the flood have we two wept, and so drowned the whole world, us two. Oft did we grow to be two chaoses when we did show care to aught else, and often absences withdrew our souls and made us carcasses. But I am by her death, which word wrongs her. Of the first nothing, the elixir grew. Well, I am man. That I were one, I needs must know. I should prefer if I were any beast, some end, some means, yea, plants, yea, stones detest and love, all, all some properties invest. If I am ordinary, nothing were, a shadow, a light and body must be here, but I am none, nor will my sun renew. You lovers, for whose sake the lesser sun, at this time to the goat is run to fetch new lust and give it you, enjoy your summer all since she enjoys her long night's festival. Let me prepare towards her, and let me call this hour her vigil and her eve, since this both the years and the days deep midnight is.